Okay, okay. Keep your hand up. Okay, then just leave. Hang on. All right, just leave then. Come on. I'm gonna tell you you're Look, in a hell. Look, come on. You're in a hell, and you're gonna die in a hell like the rest come of you. Come on now. You know? She said, that's the greatest single experience of my life. Because I think that you are the most beautiful woman I've ever seen. You talking to me? You talking to me? You talking to me? Well, then who the hell else are you talking? You talking to me? I can take in three, three fifty a week. Sometimes even more when I do it off the meter. You're sheltering enemies of the state, are you not? Glauben oder nicht? Smoking. Ooh, that's a bingo. <laughs> Is that the way you say it? That's a bingo. Um, I made a deal with you, gentlemen, for that man's life. No, oh, sir. I'm waiting for a lady. Please, boss, let's go. Ain't nothing but trouble for you here. She's coming back. I know she's coming back. We'll take the car and drive all night. We'll get drunk. We'll go fishing and stay away until she's Shut gone. Shut up and go home, will you? Of all the gin joints in all the towns in all the world, she walks into mine. Do you have any idea what you'd have to look forward to if you stayed here? Nine chances out of ten, we'd both wind up at a concentration camp. Isn't that true, Louis? I'm afraid, Major Strauss, I would insist. You're saying this only to make me go. I'm saying it because it's true. Inside of us, we both know you belong with Victor. Goodbye. Sam, I thought I told you never to play. Well, you were asking about Rick, and here he is, Mademoiselle. May I present... Uh, Hello, well, sir. Hello, Rick. Oh, you've already met Rick, Mademoiselle. Well, then uh, perhaps you also... This is uh... Mr. Laszlo. How do you do? Right the fuck in. Now in complete control of the government of this state. I made no campaign promises because until a few weeks ago, I had no hope of being elected. <laughs> now, however, now I can afford to make some promises. <laughs> a boss, Jim W. Get his! <laughs> of a fact that you seem to have forgotten. Yes. That you are yourself sure. one of the largest individual stockholders in the public transit company. The trouble is you don't realize you're talking to two people. As Charles Foster Kane, who owns 82,364 shares of public transit, preferred, you see, I do have a general idea of my holdings. I sympathize with you. Charles Foster Kane is a scoundrel. His paper should be run out of town. A committee should be formed to boycott him. You may, if you can form such a committee, put me down for a contribution of $1,000. My time's On the other hand, I, I am the publisher of the Inquirer. About me! I'm Charles Foster Kane! I'm no cheap, crooked politician trying to save himself from the consequences of his crimes! Dennis! I'm going to send you to Sing Sing! Sing Sing, Dennis! And the scum that ruined your daughter would be suffering this very day. And if by chance an honest man like yourself should make enemies, then he would become my enemies. And then they will fear you. Accept this justice as a gift on my daughter's wedding day. Gracias. Gracias. Please. Uh, give this to uh, 
Clemenza. You can act like a man. What's the matter with you? Is this how you turn down a Hollywood Pinocchio that uh, cries like a woman? Sure I do. Good. Because a man who doesn't spend time with his family can never be a real man. I'm going to make him an offer he can't refuse. Now, you go outside, enjoy yourself, and uh, forget about all this nonsense. I want you to leave all to me. Read the funny paper. Uh, How about a magic trick? I'm gonna make this pencil disappear. It's... It's gone. A guy like me. Look, listen. I know why you choose to have your... I was right here. Who did you leave him with? Hmm? Your people? Don't worry. I'm going to tell you where they are. Both of them. And that's the point. You'll have to choose. He's at 250 52nd Street. And she's uh, on Avenue Wang. The bomb that you're not more than one generation from poor wire trash, are you, Agent Starling? Wake up in the dark and hear the screaming of the lamb. Yes. And you think if you save poor Catherine, you could make them stop, don't you? You think if Catherine lives, you won't wake up in the dark ever again to that awful screaming of the lamb. 10, strongly built, about 180 pounds. Hair blonde, eyes pale blue. He'd be about 35 now. He said he lived in Philadelphia, but may have lied. I don't imagine the answer is on those second-rate shoes, Clarice. Seen from the Belvedere. Do you know, Florence? Look up to the sky and say it. What do you want me to say? Daniel, you've come here and you've brought good and wealth, but you have also brought your bad habits as a backslider. Out of her. Say it louder. I've abandoned my child! I've abandoned my child! I've abandoned my boy! Who begged for the blood! Please give me the blood, Eli. Let me get out of here. Give me the blood, Lord! Ladies and gentlemen. I've traveled over half our state to be here tonight. I couldn't get away sooner because my new well was coming in at Coyote Hills and I had to see about it. I do my own drilling. And the men that work for me work for me and they are men I know. I make it my business to be there and to see their work. Aren't you a healer? And a vessel for the Holy Spirit? When are you coming over and make my son here again? Can't you do that? Let me bless the world. This happened. Daniel, you should have done that. Oh, you owe the church of the third revelation. Five thousand dollars. Oh, you right for the we made. <laughs>
And my father assured him that either his brains or his signature would be on the contract. Because it insults my intelligence. It makes me very angry. <laughs>